Hey, so I just wanted to give you an overview of using Iconosquare to look at your stats on Instagram. So it's basically Iconosquare.com. You can see here we've got the Iconosquare um, logo. And when you first go into Iconosquare, it's going to land in your viewer feed. So that's just giving you the feed of all the accounts that you follow, just like you would find on your mobile phone when you're looking at your Instagram feed. Now, it does give you um, options of kind of creating groups and just looking at particular accounts. I'm not going to go into that today. We're just going to look at an overview of how to look at your statistics. So we can see up the top here, we've got various menus. We're going to just click on the statistics one and that's going to give you some stats on your account and your followers and who you're following. So this is just the overview, it tells you how many photos you have posted, your likes, the followers and following. It also tells you about some new followers and followers that you've lost and it gives you various scores you know about you know the engagement on your posts so it gives you a nice little overview of your Instagram account. On the left here, this is the menu for the statistics. So we're in the overview. We can then go to rolling month analysis. And that, you can see here, it's telling us from May 27th up to June 26th. And it's giving you an idea of your most liked posts, um, the posts that have got the most comments on it. And, you know, down here, the followers growth and it also gives you your 10 most engaged followers Now that's a really useful um, piece of info because you could then you know do some kind of reward for whoever's the most engaged follower and um, send them a little you know discount code or a little prize or something um, so some really nice stats in there then if we click on content again and again this is uh, just giving you some idea of you know the media that's on the amount of posts that are on your account it's also telling you here the density so it's showing you the, um, how often you know what days you post more often obviously this Friday here has got the biggest the biggest circle so by day that's the the day that we're tend to be posting the most here it's showing you by hour so that's telling you the when we have been posting the most based on time. So say around about four o'clock um, and also kind of around about midday on some days. It then gives you some info on the filters that you've used. So the one that you've used the most um, and then also ones that we've never used. It also tells you which hashtag we've used the most and whether we've been geo-tagging our locations. So then if you go to engagement here again it's telling you um, the most liked media it's also giving you more information you know on the growth history and if comments were received and again into the most commented media optimization is a really useful one because this is telling you the best time to post now if I just hover over this here it says based on your activity over the last 90 days so this here, it, this is our current posting habits. So the biggest circles, again, are telling us when we usually post and that's based on time. And then down here, it's telling us again when we post based on day. So you can see we're posting less on the weekends, but you know, Friday and Thursday are probably the most. We've got most posts on the Friday and then not too far behind Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now this in here, this is telling us, based on the interactions from our followers, when the best times for us to post are. So we can see here, there's um, you know a couple of big cir grey circles here. So this is at roughly 7 p.m. on a Friday. So that's indicating that we should probably test posting at that time on a Friday. Similarly. Um, 8 p.m. on a Thursday could potentially be a good time for us to post. Now, obviously, this is just based on stats over the past three months. Like anything on social media, you know, test it for yourselves, but it gives you a really good starting point of, you know, looking, you know, if you're posting at a time that really isn't, you know, isn't getting you any interaction with your audience.
Um, this is useful as well, the media average lifespan. So it's telling you how often after you post um, you're getting comments. So we can see here after an hour where we've had, you know, generally get a lot of comments and then after three hours it's dropped right off. You know, after seven hours we can expect to not get many comments on a post. So that's that's pretty interesting as well. That could, you know, make you want to test posting at different times and just seeing what the drop off is. Um, again, down here it's giving you some more info on filters, which filters are triggering the most likes and comments. Now, if we go to community, this is just giving you more information on who you're following, who's following you back and who's taking what action. Um, obviously, you know, I said before, you can go in and you can see um, followers that you've lost, followers that you've gained. Um, yeah, um, people, people that you know are interacting with your account, um, and then it's giving you some suggestions down here of people that we may want to follow that we haven't already been following. So that's a really brief overview of Icona Square and how you can use it to look at the statistics on your Instagram account.